Hey, welcome back everyone. In the rapidly evolving landscape of electric vehicles, battery technology plays a pivotal role in shaping the industry's future. In today's video, we'll be going over one promising innovation that has brought significant attention, the solid state battery. So stay tuned all the way through, as we'll also be taking a look at the pros and cons and comparisons to other battery types. So, how do solid state batteries work? Before we start, we quickly need to define electrolytes, but not the type that comes in different colors for your post-run hydration. An electrolyte, in the battery sense, is a substance that conducts an electric current when dissolved or molten. The heart of solid-state batteries is a fundamental departure from the liquid electrolytes found in conventional lithium-ion batteries. Liquid electrolytes are a type of electrolyte that exists in a liquid state obviously. In solid-state batteries, both the electrolyte and the separator are solid materials. Instead of the solid electrolyte facilitating the movement of ions between the electrodes, a solid electrolyte takes on this role. The solid electrolyte in these batteries can be made of various materials, including ceramics or polymers. These materials provide a stable medium for ion conduction, allowing for the movement of lithium ions between the cathode and anode. Just like regular batteries, solid-state batteries have two main parts, an anode, which is like the battery's negative side, and a cathode, which is the positive side. The anode is often made of materials like lithium metal or lithium ion phosphate, while the cathode uses materials like oxides or sulfides. When the battery is being used, which essentially means discharged, or is charged up when not being used, tiny particles called lithium ions travel from the anode to the cathode through a solid material called the electrolyte. This movement of lithium ions creates electrical energy, which makes the vehicle go. So, why would you want to use a solid-state battery? Well, let's start with its enhanced safety. One of the primary advantages of solid-state batteries is their improved safety profile. The solid electrolyte reduces the risk of thermal runaway, a phenomenon that can lead to battery fires in traditional lithium-ion batteries. Then, we have its higher energy density. Solid-state batteries have the potential for higher energy density, meaning they can store more energy in the same or smaller space. This characteristic can result in extended driving ranges for electric vehicles and is currently one of the favored battery types for developing long-range models. When it comes to charging, solid-state batteries may also support faster charging rates compared to traditional batteries. The reason for this is that the solid electrolyte allows for quicker ion movement, reducing charging times significantly. With fewer degradation issues compared to liquid electrolytes, solid-state batteries could also offer a longer lifespan. This is a crucial factor in reducing the overall cost of ownership for electric vehicles and will help ensure that the electric cars being built for the future are built to last. Lastly, there's a wide operating temperature range. Solid-state batteries exhibit better performance across a broader range of temperatures, making them more versatile and suitable for various climates. This could be great for those who live in areas where it gets much colder or hotter and might not have a garage for keeping an electric vehicle inside. When it comes to the disadvantages, let's first mention its complex manufacturing. The manufacturing processes for solid-state batteries are currently more complex and costly than those for traditional lithium-ion batteries. Creating a solid electrolyte, which is a key component of solid-state batteries, often involves specialized manufacturing techniques that may be more intricate and expensive. This complexity has contributed to a slower adoption, with many automakers looking for quick wins and low-cost production. Despite promising research and development, solid-state batteries are still in the early stages of commercialization. Mass production and widespread adoption are yet to be realized, so cost-effective manufacturing processes are still yet to be seen. Then we have the material challenges. 
Developing cost-effective and commercially viable solid electrolyte materials remains a significant challenge. Researchers are actively exploring various options to find the most suitable materials for large-scale production. Continuing from this, manufacturers have run into scale-up issues. Transitioning from laboratory-scale production to mass production poses challenges, including maintaining consistent quality and addressing potential defects at a larger scale. Lastly, temperature sensitivity at the extremes. While solid-state batteries offer improved performance across a range of temperatures, they can still be sensitive to extreme conditions. Maintaining optimal functionality in extremely high or low temperatures remains a consideration. So, if you live in places like Alaska, best to stick with an engine better suited to extreme weather. So what are some of the other options if solid-state batteries aren't for you? Well, firstly, let's talk about lithium-ion batteries. Traditional lithium-ion batteries have been the go-to choice for electric vehicles for years. They're reliable, proven, and relatively inexpensive to produce. However, their energy density and safety profiles may not match those of solid-state batteries. Lithium-ion batteries are also prone to thermal runaway, a concern that solid-state batteries aim to address. There are also lithium-polymer batteries. Lithium-polymer batteries use a gel-like or solid-state electrolyte, making them somewhat similar to solid-state batteries. However, true solid-state batteries have a solid electrolyte, while lithium-polymer batteries still rely on some form of liquid or gel electrolyte. Solid-state batteries are expected to offer better safety and potentially higher energy density compared to lithium-polymer batteries. You might have heard about nickel-metal hydride NIMH batteries. This type of battery has been used in hybrid vehicles for years, but they have a lower energy density compared to both lithium-ion and solid-state batteries. They're bulkier and heavier, making them less suitable for all electric vehicles aiming for long ranges and are better suited for more commercial-grade electric use. Then there's the marmite of the battery world, hydrogen fuel cells. You either love it or you hate it. While not a battery technology, hydrogen fuel cells are often considered an alternative to traditional batteries for electric vehicles. They produce electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, emitting only water vapor. Lastly, there are graphene batteries. Graphene batteries, incorporating graphene-based materials, have shown promise in laboratory settings. They offer high conductivity and potentially faster charging times. However, scaling up production and addressing cost challenges are significant hurdles, so we have yet to see these making a real impact. So what does the future hold? Solid-state batteries hold immense potential for revolutionizing the electric vehicle industry. As research and development efforts continue, overcoming manufacturing challenges, achieving cost-effectiveness, and ensuring scalability will be key to their widespread adoption. As research progresses and technology matures, the automotive industry may witness a transformative shift towards solid-state battery-powered electric vehicles. If you like this video, we'd love a thumbs up to help us with the YouTube algorithm. Let us know in the comments which is your favorite battery type and subscribe to keep up with the latest EV content.